Alright guys, so this is going to be a little how-to on creating the Excel sheet for activity 1.2.4 for aerospace. So when you're in 1.2.4 over on this side here, it does show you a example of what the calculator would look like in Excel. So if we start by creating something very similar in an Excel sheet, um, it would look something like this, where we come into Excel, we can type whatever fields we need to type. All of these are just text. Um, I did change the colors for our input and our output fields just to be similar to our little calculator over here. Uh, you can also bold and unbold your work here if you'd like to. If your pieces are cut off, let's say it's not showing quite right here, if you double click in between, it'll snap it out so you can see everything still. Okay, so to actually try and have your calculator create and solve the formulas for you, we need to actually know what the formulas are. So if we look at the PowerPoint, okay, so this was uh, 1.2.4 atmosphere, uh, for Canvas, it's in our resources here, in the first one, one, two, four. Okay, so in this PowerPoint, it shows us our equations that we want to use. We have our temperature equation right here, our pressure equation here, and then rho, our density equation down here. So I've already gone through and rewritten our equations on the side over on this piece over here just to try and make it in one single line instead of how we see here where we have various pieces in a numerator and a denominator we can't really do the same thing over in Excel so we have to make it all in one single line that being said sometimes we have to add parentheses or little carrots to try and show the order of operations or exponents or anything that would be in our equations on this side. Okay, so up here for our altitude, now that we have our equation right here, which we got from this side here, what we're going to do is we're going to use what's written on the side here just after the equal sign. Okay, so we hit equals, it's going to be 15.04 minus our 0 0.00649 times, so a little asterisk, which is shift 8 on your keyboard, um, and then we need to multiply it by the height, which is our altitude. So for that, we're actually just going to click on the box where we're going to input our altitude. If you notice here, it pops in B4, because this box is B4. We hit enter, and this calculates for us this temperature equation. Okay, as if we had no altitude. If, let's say, we were at 3,000 meters, we hit enter, it would change our temperature on the fly. Okay, so whatever temperature or whatever altitude you are, it'll automatically change and calculate your temperature for you. All right, so we do the same things with our pressure and our density. For pressure, so if you notice over here, we have a longer string. Okay, we start at the equal sign. We have 101.29. Okay, we have an asterisk, two parentheses, this might look a little weird, but we have a T here. Okay, this T is for temperature. So just like we did for this one up here, we need to click on the box that holds that value. So for our T is temperature, we click on this box here, right? Then we have plus 273.1. We close one set of parentheses because this is our numerator. For this little part of our equation right here, all right, we divided by our 288.08, which was our denominator. We close those parentheses. Make sure that your parentheses match each other. So we have one set here, and the next set here. Okay, at the end we still have to have our exponent. So we put a little caret, which is shift for your number six key, 5.256. Okay, that should be good we hit enter and it should calculate okay, if you are having trouble with it maybe it starts to give you something like this you may need to hit okay if you 
are missing this little asterisk or you're missing this little caret, it will start to give you errors. Okay, so just double check your formula bar and make sure you have some sort of plus, minus, some sort of um, notation in between your numbers and the next set of parentheses. All right, so, oops, uh-oh. There we go. Um, if you add in an extra box by accident, you should just be able to delete the letter and number and hit enter and it should update again. All right, our last one for density, we have our density right here. Our equation was found on this piece over here. All right, when we're looking at it, we have rho equals pressure divided by a constant multiplied by our temperature plus another constant. Okay, so for this one, if you notice over here, we start with equals and then pressure. So we click on the box for pressure. Right, we want to divide that by a certain number of times another set, so we need our parentheses. Okay, that's our 0 0.2869, right? And then we want to multiply that by what was in our little parentheses down in the denominator here. So that was temperature, so we click on our temperature, plus 273.1. And then we close 1 and 2. Since we have two sets of parentheses, we hit enter, and it should calculate for us. All right, so we can use this for pretty much any type of equation that they give us, as long as we can put it into this type of format where it's all in one line. All right, so we have to be careful of our order of operations, just making sure that we're putting parentheses in the right places. But this, no matter what number we give it here, say we wanted 2,500, we hit enter, it'll re-update all of the values for you. And that's it.